Greetings to all the children. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. I am your teacher Mrs. Rosemary Rajdudat and today I am going to teach you the second section from the lesson The Life Cycle of Animals. It is from the textbook EVS Part 1. And we have already studied the first section of the life cycle of animals. And if you have missed it, you can please see the first section. It is more in detail. And today we are going to learn the next part of the same lesson. Before that, we'll just revise in short about the first section. We have learned that there are similarities in some animals and there are no similarities in some animals. But they are different. We have seen all these things. We have also seen that some young ones are born through their mother's tummy and some animals lay eggs. Now these all these animals are very familiar to you. You must be having pets at home. You must be having dog as a pet. Some may be having uh, rabbits as your pets. Cats you must be having at home. You know. And they are born through the mother's tummy. And you also must be having hens. You Most of you must be eating eggs. Okay, the hens. You must have seen these hens. If not at your home, you must have seen in the farm. Or you must have seen in your grandparents' village. Okay, all these places you must have seen the hen. And these hens lay eggs. We have also studied about the cheek and their life cycle and how the hen takes care of her cheeks. There is one more important thing in this that it takes around 20 to 22 days for a cheek to emerge from the egg. Emerge. See the word emerge. I have explained to you but once again I will tell you the meaning of emerge means it's coming out. It comes out from the egg. We have seen all these things in the first section in more detail. Now, today we are going to study in detail about metamorphosis. What is this metamorphosis? The meaning of this is in some animals, the young ones grow into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one. This change of form is called metamorphosis. See children, you understand this meaning of metamorphosis very carefully. In some animals, the young ones grow into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one. And this change is called as metamorphosis. For example, see the first picture in this metamorphosis. It's a tadpole. This image is of a tadpole. It is a young one. And this tadpole grows into an adult frog. You know, see the change has taken place here. The young one is into a tadpole. And when it becomes big, it becomes a frog. So this change is called as metamorphosis. Another example is about this caterpillar. You can see this insect. It's a caterpillar. It's very small. It's a young one. And this caterpillar becomes into a butterfly. It changes and it becomes into a butterfly. So when they are young they, are, they look different and when they are adult when they grow up they look different. This change is called as metamorphosis and I hope you have understood the meaning of metamorphosis very carefully. You must have understood it very well. Okay so today we are going to learn about the metamorphosis in a butterfly. 
Let us see this wonderful garden. There are roses. There are beautiful butterflies flying around, isn't it? And you love watching the butterflies flying here and there on the flowers. It looks very wonderful. The butterflies have got various colors, various shapes. Okay. Have you ever imagined that how these butterflies must be growing? What is the life cycle of the butterfly? We are going to study that today in detail. The life cycle of butterfly has to go through the four stages. The first one is the egg. And after that, the second stage is the larva. The third stage is the pupa. And the fourth stage is the butterfly. This is the cycle, life cycle. Once again, I repeat, the first stage is the egg. Second is the larva. Third is the pupa. And then the last stage is the butterfly, adult stage. So today we are going to see the growth of the butterfly and how it takes place. Firstly, the egg. The female plant tiger butterflies lays an egg on the milkweed leaf. In Marathi, it is called as the Rui, Rui Chapan. It is called as Rui Chapan. And in English, it is called as milkweed. Mostly, it lays egg on the milkweed leaf. And these eggs are very tiny means they are very small, they are very tiny and in six to eight days the larva emerges. means comes out of this egg, comes out from this egg. The second stage that is called as a larva and this larva is also called as a caterpillar. You are more familiar with the word caterpillar? Yes, but the new word, it is mainly called as the larva. It is in the second stage. Now, when this caterpillar comes out of the egg, you know what it does? Let's see this video. Look at it. It is very hungry and it starts nibbling and gobbling up the leaf very fast. Nibbling and gobbling means, you know what? Eating very fast. Sometimes when you feel more hungry, you start eating fast, fast, fast. Means you are gobbling up the food very fast. And you know what happens when it is eating very fast? It is growing also fast. See, it is eating, it has eaten so much of the leaf. It's going on eating and eating and eating. It is very hungry. And as it is eating very, very fast, it is growing also very fast. It starts growing. And as it grows fast, you can see in the picture, the caterpillar is growing very fast. And you know what happens? When it grows very fast, it doesn't fit in that skin. It doesn't fit in the in its skin. And you know what? The skin has to break or it has to fall away. Because it has eaten very fast, it has become more big. It has grown big and it doesn't fit in that skin. And this process is called as the mold. The meaning of mold means to shed old skin to make way for new growth. This is also very important things, children. You should learn it uh, very carefully. You should understand this very carefully. Mount means to shed or the old skin has fallen away and there is a way for new growth. And during this process, you know, this process of mount, it takes place four times. It takes place around four times. Means four times the skin falls out and the new skin is coming up. 
and then it remains in this caterpillar stage for 10 to 12 days. It is in this stage, in this caterpillar stage, it remains there for 10 to 12 days. And you know what happens after that? The caterpillar weaves a button of a silken thread on the staff or a leaf and hangs itself. And then it enters the third stage. It forms a pupa. It is also called as chrysalis. So you can see it is hanging on a stem or it is hanging. It sometimes hangs on a leaf also, on the stalk also. It has made a button of silken thread and it hangs itself. And this is also called as a chrysalis and in this stage of pupa it remains inside for next 11 to 12 days how many days it remains in the pupa for next 11 to 12 days see we are studying all this life cycle one by one okay and how many days it is remaining in those stages we have seen and this is the third stage that is pupa. It remains there for 11 to 12 days. So you can imagine all these stages how it is taking place. Okay and I hope you are understanding it well. Now during this stage it does not eat anything. And the very important changes are taking place. See there are so many changes taking place in that pupa, in that chrysalis, very important change is taking place and in that pupa or that chrysalis, there is a different change taking place in its body and from that the butterfly is complete. Wow, see there is a lovely butterfly. It is now in the fourth stage, the last stage, the adult butterfly, it is now complete. It comes out from the pupa and it is into a butterfly, beautiful butterfly, beautiful colors. You know, there were changes taking place in the pupa and there are beautiful changes taking place there and there's all colors. And all that has been created inside that chrysalis. And these butterflies emerge from that pupa. This butterfly has got six long legs and four attractive wings. It takes approximately around 32 days for the life cycle of the butterfly to complete its cycle. You know, to complete this whole cycle, it takes approximately around 32 days. And I hope students, you have understood this lesson, this section, sec section 2 about the life cycle of the butterflies. Let me repeat, there are four stages of the life cycle of butterfly. The first one is the egg. Now let me see, guess the second one. Oh yeah, that is the larva. The third one, I hope you are guessing it right. It's the pupa. And very good, the fourth stage is the butterfly. And I hope you have got this concept very clear. You have understood this lesson very clear. Now we have got some important points from this lesson. The important points are metamorphosis. In some animals, the young one grows into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one. This change of form is called metamorphosis. Second point, it takes around 20 to 22 days for a chick to emerge from a hen's egg. And now the third point. Butterflies 
are of various shapes and beautiful colors. Important points. The fourth important point is the butterfly grows through four stages. The egg, the larva, the pupa and the adult. Fifth point. In six to eight days, larva emerge from the egg. In first two or three days, the caterpillar starts molting. Molt means to shed old skin to make way for new growth. And the eighth point, it remains in the caterpillar stage for 10 to 12 days. The caterpillar hunts itself with the silken thread on the stalk or leaf. Tenth point, it remains inside chrysalis for the next 11 to 12 days. The butterfly has got six long legs and four attractive wings. And the twelfth point is the complete life cycle of a butterfly takes approximately around 32 days to complete its cycle. And children, I hope you have got these points, you have understood these points. I want you to write down these points in your notebook. You write it down. You read it many times so that you will understand these points again and again. You repeat it. You will understand it very clearly. And now see this butterfly is beautiful. You know, they are very lovely butterflies with different lovely colors, attractive colors, beautiful colors. It's a wonderful creation. Yes, but there is always something to remember. It is wrong to catch butterflies just for fun and keep them tied up with a string. Please avoid doing it because butterflies are a part of our environment. Enjoy seeing them flying in the garden. See children, we should never catch the butterflies just for fun. They're very beautiful creations. You just enjoy them flying. Enjoy seeing them flying in the garden which will make you more happy. And now the difficult words to learn. Metamorphosis, various, environment, stages, larva, pupa, adult, milkweed, caterpillar, rapid, mouth, completed, attractive, growth, continues, important, chrysalis and silken. Children, I want you to write down these difficult words also and learn them. You know, they're very important. You need to learn the spellings. You need to know these words and the pronunciation of these words. So write it down in your notebook. Okay. Everything. So all these words, metamorphosis, various, environment, stages, larva, pupa, adult, milkweed, caterpillar, rapid, mouth, completed, attractive, growth, continuous, important, chrysalis and silken. You write down these words in your notebook and you learn them. Thanks for watching.